Hi, welcome to Let's Learn channel. In today's video, we will be learning about propagation structure, which can also be said as predicted structures. First, plants will have different requirements of light, temperature, minerals, nutrient, etc. So, artificial environment condition with predicted structure or propagation structure can be used. So, if we need any particular plant in in our needed season, then artificial environment condition can be given for the plant to get the outcome. Okay, so this structure which we use is called predicted structure or propagation structure. First, what are the predicted structure which are most commonly used? We are going to see which are greenhouse, hotbed, coal frame, net house and lead house. First, we will learn about greenhouse. Greenhouse is most commonly used in short summer season area. That means in that area there will be more winter and spring season. So where there is more short summer season, there this greenhouse structure will be used. And this greenhouse can be constructed in east to west direction which is better placement area. Greenhouse is of two type which is low cost greenhouse and another one is high cost greenhouse low cost greenhouse is mainly used for short term benefits for low income farmers okay and high cost greenhouse will be most commonly used for long term benefits and so it will be constructed in large area first we will be learning about the low cost greenhouse which can also be called as polyhouse this will be constructed with metal framework or wooden framework so see this is the wood okay in this framework it will be covered with polyethylene sheet or fiber glass okay so see so this is wooden framework on this it is covered with a polyethylene sheet which is low in cost and less in weight than glasses okay so this type of low cost greenhouse which will be most commonly used for short term benefit next we will see about high cost greenhouse this will be well equipped with elaborated structure so see uh, for example if you see this uh, image uh, it is constructed with uh, glass which is high cost and uh, it will be with advanced control over temperature light etc uh, here thermostat will be used and if there is more heat inside this glass house then a spring sprinkler will be present which will sprinkle the water on the plant to reduce the temperature so this type of elaborated structure if it is present this type of greenhouse is called high cost greenhouse okay and next we will learn about hot beds this is one of a one kind of a propagated structure its frame is made up of wood or steel so if you see in this image it is made up of wood okay and this will be covered with plastic or glass and uh, main thing at the bottom of the media artificially it will be heated and so it is called as hot bed which is made by air air will the air will heat or water will make a heating process and this will be constructed in sunny areas okay so you, even we can take this as an example image for hotbed so see this part is called as wood wood it is made with the wood or uh, we can say it is made up of steel and this area which is made up of glass so this structure which is mainly called as hotbed and at the bottom of the media it will be heated artificially to produce artificial heat to one's plant okay next what are the uses what are the main uses of this greenhouse and hotbed it provides controlled environment condition for growth of seedlings cuttings and layerings so about this cuttings and layering we will learn detail in upcoming classes okay and even it protects enough young plant from severe diseases and pathogen rooting and cuttings needed proper condition which can be given by greenhouse hotbed and many protected structures okay next other structure is coal frame what is this coal frame it mainly hardens the young seedling or rooted cuttings 
what is the meaning of hardening which is nothing but it makes the young plant to get ready to get transplanted to main field so this is young plant right so this cold frame makes the plant to get ready to transplanted to main field so it is this cold frame is same as like hot bed so see the uh, framework it is made up of steel and this is covered with glass right so it is same as like hot bed only one difference is without bottom heat this cold frame will be present and this should be kept in sunny area so this is the difference between cold frame and hot bed okay so hot bed it will it will be given a bottom heating in cold frame no heating will be present at the bottom just it is same as like hot bed okay next is net house this net house will be used mostly in tropical areas and wire net will be used as cover for cuttings and seedling provides a hardening condition for this young plant so see this blue you can see no this green color which is the net house okay even it will uh, wholly it will be covered by this net house okay next the last structure which is used is lathe house this protects the young plant from high temperature and high light intensity so i think you can see this lathe house so see it is covered with a, a very small gapped wooden house okay and if there is more temperature water will be sprinkled to reduce the temperature so these are the most commonly used protected structure i think you are clear with this topic thanks for watching like share and subscribe to my channel bye bye